Welcome back, Math Grizz. Today, we will identify the unit fraction of a figure. What are unit fractions? A unit fraction is a fraction whose numerator is one. So a unit fraction will always have a one above the fraction bar because the numerator must be one. Let's read some examples of unit fractions. One half, one sixth, one third, one fourth, one eighth. We notice that all of the numerators are one because unit generally means one. So this unit fraction is asking for just one of the parts. Remember, unit fractions represent one shaded part of all the equal parts of the whole. So what does this mean? Let's look at some models. Here we have a whole, right here a whole, with equal parts. It has one, two, three, four, five, six equal parts. But we only need to know what one of them represents. So one of these six would be one sixth. One of these two equal parts would be one half. One of these three parts would be one third. One of these four parts would be one fourth. Each one is worth one fourth. Here we have one eighth. Each one individually is worth one eighth. And remember, unit fractions represent one shaded part of all the equal parts of the whole. Ask yourself, what is each part worth? Unit fraction, what is each part of the whole worth? Here we have a whole. We need to figure out what each part of this whole is worth just one of them. So let's count how many equal parts. One, two, three, four. The denominator will be four. Each one is worth one fourth. And remember, unit fractions must have a one. So if each one of these is worth a fourth, then we know that the unit fraction must have a one because each one is always going to be worth one over our total or our denominator, which goes below the fraction bar, and we know we have four equal parts. So let's read. The unit fraction of this figure is one fourth. Let's figure out the unit fraction for this figure. We need to figure out what each part is worth. We know we have three equal parts, so the denominator will have to be three. The numerator will always be a one when we are looking for the unit fraction, one third. Each one is one third. So the unit fraction will have to have a numerator of one and a denominator of three. The unit fraction of this figure is one third. Let's figure out the unit fraction of this figure. Remember, we have to figure out what each part is worth individually. Let's see how many equal parts we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. The denominator will have to be six. Remember, unit fractions will always have a one. So we know that each one of these is worth one sixth. The unit fraction must have a one at the top and below the fraction bar, we need our denominator, which will be six equal parts. Let's read, the unit fraction of this figure is one sixth. Remember, unit fractions must have a one above the fraction bar because it's asking for what one part of the whole is worth. What do you notice? Oh, <laughs>